Hi there, I'm John from cncroi.com and today we're going to take a look at color changing plastic on a hard drive. One of the fantastic advantages we have with this Trotec PD400 Flex from Austria is that we have both a fiber and a CO2 laser tube. What that means is that if we put plastic in the machine and we use a CO2, we burn the living hell out of it. But if we use our fiber uh, tube instead, we actually color change it. So what you'll see in the com upcoming video, nothing has been added to the external hard drive. It's black. And what the fiber tube does is color change it to off-white. That is just as permanent. It um, doesn't damage the hard drive. And it means that we just killed the resale value, which is fantastic. Because that means nobody's going to steal it. So the data in it is safe. And everybody knows whose hard drive that is because, well, it says it right on it. Let's take a look at the hard drive being fiber color changed. So why do we spend the extra money to get a fiber and a CO2 laser tube in our machine? Now you know the reason why. Now it's not just for plastic that we use the fiber tube. We use it mostly for annealing stainless steel uh, and color or marking uh, anodized aluminum. So for metal applications, nothing beats it. The other way of doing it is to use a CO2 tube and to use Surmark or a, a bonding process onto it. The problem with that is that it phase chips and comes off with time. Using our fiber tube, it's completely permanent. It doesn't come off. Um, you actually have to sand the surface until you go all the way into it uh, to remove the uh, fiber annealing on stainless steel, whether 304, 316, or even copper. It doesn't really matter. So I'll see you in the next video.